recently, as far as I know, but it was like, it was bad. Mm. But you know, I think Noah has been leveling up slowly but surely. And uh, he's like, he's got some really good stuff in this matchup. Mm -hmm. I like, I like his approach of like, just doing stuff like that where like he kind of keeps the space and just tries to like get in slowly and then get an up tilt. But like, yeah, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what to do to like really extend, for Falco needs to be doing to really extend the punish uh, on Falcon at like certain positions for sense. I think maybe, okay, I like all this. Uh, okay, and that was just good by SCJ. He like waited out that, that attempt from Noah to like cover the ledge. SCJ gets center stage off that. And Noah's boxing his way in. Good shine on a shield, and then he, I'm surprised he got the near. Oh, that was, I don't know if he meant to double jump there, or if he meant to do that earlier or whatever. That was, I feel like that had to be a mistake. Yeah, I think he was trying to go uh, later on that uh, double jump to try and hit him with the back air, but then he was like, oh, maybe I'll get hit by this uh, up B though. So maybe, he was a little scared. yeah, I'm not sure. Dude, uh, that was a, yeah, the thing about that kind of edge guarding with Falcon is it's so good against Falco. Like just jumping out there with a knee, it covers so much. And then if you just do an up air at the end, it's actually amazing. Nice. Yep. That's, yeah, it just kills. That's rough. It killed from the other side of the stage at like 60. Small stage. Yeah, that's true. That that's that plays a part for sure. Uh, that was a good dash dance, but like I don't know if grab was like the optimal thing to do to punish it. Uh, oh, well, that's unfortunate, man. Melee lion to the viewers. Yeah, that was a good like he up tilted to cover him coming down and then shielded. Like, it's good to kind of cover yourself like that. Uh, but then, man. Yeah, like, well, obviously, the tried and true tale about the ranked player versus the unranked, or the player who's, like, trying to make an upset, right? Yeah. Is, like, they're always kind of, like, getting bullied by the punish game and the speed of their the superior, the higher seed player, right? And that's kind of, like... It's definitely like also definitely what's happening here for sure. But like also I think uh, Yeah, Noah could there's like a little more stuff he could do in neutral for sure. Yeah. Takes him to Fountain though. Everybody says uh SGJ really likes Fountain. So, I don't know if that's believable though. I think well I know Norwalk, aka like Alex nineteen and Lucky or Mango have like said that they think he's pretty good on the stage, but like I don't know how how uh, reliable of a data point that is, you know. Yeah. I don't know, he's still moving on the stage. Yeah. Like he can still stomp me. That's usually the platforms mess up a lot of Falcon's movements and it's kinda of restrictive. That's why yeah, I, like I think well, okay. I think the way SJ plays this matchup is very jumpy. Mm -hmm. I think he likes to jump a lot versus Falco to kinda of like avoid yeah. dealing with the lasers. Mm -hmm. So I think it's not too big of a deal. Like, he's not trying to play on the ground too much. So it's not... I feel like Fountain wouldn't hurt him too much for that reason. Plus, he likes stomping through the platforms, and, like, that helps with the side platforms on Fountain. Okay, see, like, that right there was an example of, like, where the knee kind of got messed up because yeah. of the yeah. Fountain side platform. But Great stomp. Yeah, he could have teched it and or edge or meteor canceled, but... Good shine pressure. Yeah, it's like... At that percent, it's hard to get a follow-up, and at that position, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, like, oh, that was just good by SCJ. He just, like, short off near it over the up tilt. I like the way SG is kind of fading out all of these moves with the, the aerial, or the jumping that you said that he does in this matchup. Yeah, see, like, full jump, double jump, very good. Mm -hmm. Just good stuff, you know? Oh, he almost got that. That was actually crazy. Yeah, it's good. It let him like it let him put him in a position to cover that roll there too. He got like, it. He rolled in thing. and then he almost got covered it. Oh, really good short. That's a oh, snake he... edge. Yeah, SJ really good at like hitting shield and then like looking for an out of shield option. Just scouting it super fast. He's also just like so fast. Yeah, he's like platform camping actually a little bit. <laughs> I'm actually a little surprised. I guess that like high percent, he doesn't want to risk like getting hit for no reason, so he's just like playing it safe. Yeah, he's yeah he's choosing to play this like kind of like high game, where it's like either can't, like approaching him from a platform or like full jumping over him a lot. Oh, but that time Noah called his full jump double jump. Nice. But yeah, that's kind of a hard good recovery. It was tricky because like he didn't know when he was gonna start the up B. 
Oh, that shield poke or something. That was I don't know why he got hit. That was weird. Oh, I like Ooh, that. Nice. Tomahawk Chandra. Uh, that was yeah. That's just really hard because like uh, he, the knee ended right as he grabbed ledge. So like unless you hit him out of the knee, there's not much you can really do to cover that. Uh, okay, good double jump sweet spot. Not just getting hit by that back air. Ooh, good stomp. Yeah, the problem with like shining out a shield against Falcon is that if he spaces his aerials, it's like it's hard. Like that's why. Okay, I like wave dashing out a shield versus Falcon. Honestly, I think it's like a little better than just trying to shine out a shield. Because most of the time, like Falcon isn't going to be trying to hit you with like the in hit of any of his hitboxes. It's mostly going to be like the tip or like 